What's up, gang? I hope everybody is doing well, 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 well. Thank you so much, guys, for continuing to support me, love on me. Just be there for Mama Magical. I always got to start out my videos with gratitude. Shout out to all those who have chosen to follow me on Patreon. Thank you for your love and your support, your uh, your endless love and support. I really appreciate it. Um, all those who are new to my channel, you are not here by... Um, by coincidence we don't believe in those here you are here because you were supposed to be here so please feel welcome and welcome to the game any uh requests that you have regarding future tarot readings please put them down in the comments with your questions um to know more about me and the things that i offer and provide you can go to my website at magicalflowerstarot.com um, shout out to y'all that's continued to order these decks y'all have been showing out okay i am so so grateful and so happy for all of the support i'm trying my best to get everything out because I have more to come. Um, the quickest way that you can get in contact with me is on my um, website. I see those messages right away, even sometimes when things get lost in the email. So I appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, so let's get into this reading, y'all. This is a, a requested video about Chloe Bailey. Y'all want to update on her. She has an album coming out, I believe you guys said, this weekend, I believe. You guys want to know what's going on with her. It seems like um, you guys said some previous albums of hers have, you know, unfortunately not been uh, the success that people had thought and hoped for and anticipated. So we're going to see. Y'all talking about sabotage. Y'all bringing up Beyonce. So we just going to open up and see what the ancestors have to say. I'm going to start off with my deck, my mom Magical Oracle deck. And we're going to let the ancestors speak and then we will trans over, transition over to the tarot deck to get more details. Chloe Bailey, Chloe Bailey, Chloe Bailey. So let's see the energy that's surrounding her. Let the ancestors speak first. Let's see what's been going on. What is going on with Miss Chloe's Ailey Shell? Months. So months. So we got a timeline. Straight out the gate. I love my timelines, y'all. So months. It may happen next month or in a few months. So we're going to be on the lookout for her life and see if any news, anything drops. So be on, just watch your guys closely for the next couple of months. And we got, hell yeah, a strong yes. So I look at that as some type of confirmation in the months to come in her life. So let's see what's going on. Lovers, hmm, romance, intimacy, sex, affairs, dating, and attraction, child. So we might see this in the next couple of months. She might shock us with a new boyfriend, a relationship, or something like that. So be on the lookout for that. And then we got a hell yes and a hell no. So when I see that, sometimes I think about indecisions in her in someone's life. When I see a hell yes and a hell no, that's sometimes that speaks to me as indecision. And then we got another yes. Come on, y'all. So it's a lot of indecision in her life. She's gonna have to face some choices, and I feel like they're gonna be tough choices, but she's gonna have to make one friends so it's also saying this energy involves friends and associates so we got lovers and friends y'all so her life you know in the next couple of months just be on the lookout for things guilty shame lies and they did that shit now that just came out after the friends and associations card so we're gonna see i'm interested to see i'm gonna pull one more jealous come on now the hate is real bad fuck them now y'all asked about sabotage right y'all even brought up beyonce so that's interesting to me because I would have never saw something like that. So let's get into this reading, y'all. As y'all can see, I'm not in my usual place, place <laughs> of divination. The setup is different, y'all. But I still have to give you guys something, you know. Because I promise you guys I will make sure that I start pushing out these videos more. So I know y'all see the new setup, a temporary setup. So I can't slam the table like I normally do. So bear with me. <laughs> So let's get into Miss Chloe Bailey. So um, let's see. Uh, is there? Show us a little bit more of the energies that surrounds her. Maybe we can get a little bit more detail in regards to the cards that came out, y'all. The Emperor, the father or man in her life. The source, not wanting to let go of something. King of Pentacles reverse. She needs to make sure. Now, when I see this King of Pentacles reverse, it talks about a loss of investment to me or not being financially responsible or getting it how you live. Get money by any means um, possible, but it also can talk about anything that you value, even itself. So make sure that you are valuing yourself and remember yourself 
is the greatest investment that you can ever make. The Queen of Wands, it talks about jealousy and the evil eye, without a doubt. The moon is the mother figure reverse. It can also talk about um, hidden lies, secrets, and deceit. Things happening in the dark behind your back. See, their backs are shown. They don't even know what's coming at them. Lost and losing money. Eight of Pentacles specifically talks about career. It talks about employment. Um, sometimes we can talk about school and things like that. But this, as this pertains, this talks about her career. This talks about working hard and losing out, burning yourself out. Um, sometimes it talks about being at the wrong uh, space of employment or uh, wrong space in when it comes to your career and the things that you want for yourself. Sometimes it's called this card calls for you to um, either work smart and not hard or it might be time for you to transition to another career that mostly um, will support your life and your true vision and your true dream for yourself. Even if you are good at what you're doing now, if you're not happy, that's something to think about. But yeah, she could just be burning the hell out of herself because she has an album coming out. So is there anyone secretly sabotaging? Now, first, I mean, y'all want to know about the energy around her album, the success as it pertains to success. Will this one be the one? Let's see. Will this be the one? Mm, I don't like this, y'all. Five of Cups talks about loss, regret, guilt, and shame, but it is a hard loss. This talks about um, Three of Pentacles, talks about work, the people you are working with. Um, artists, in, in her case, it could be producers, um, management, you know, things like that. All people that have good, important roles in the background when it comes to the music industry. Ten of Cups, it talks about breaking, having family issues, breaking away. Look at the two sisters right here. This talks about, um, when it's reversed, it talks about a severance. It can call, talk about a separation challenge or divorce queen of cups and this is really messing with her emotionally queen of cups is very sad and depressed when she's reversed um she is not in tune with her int intuition she spiritually is not in alignment she sometimes could be um cut off from her higher self and emotionally just a wreck you see all that turbulence and water that unstable that unstable waters underneath her feet when um when I see Queen of Cups reverse, it's it brings sadness to me. It really does. Remember, we talked about the album, mm, the star reverse. When I see a star reverse, sometimes it talks about a falling star. It talks about not having that faith, not having that hope anymore, and just feeling really down on yourself. Right under music, disappointment. Eight of Wands reverse talks about a stagnation, a blockage, your roads being closed for whatever reason. Two of Cups. So this talks about a friendship. She needs to lean on people she trusts. This might be a sister. She needs to come together with someone and um, make sure that she is building a solid foundation because she's going to need support. Seven of Wands reverse. Sometimes I can talk about um, when it's reversed. You have been guarding yourself. You put you have built walls and blockages around yourself. You won't allow people to come near you. And sometimes um, it can talk about feeling like you a step above of someone. And when it's reversed, it's very humbling. We'll see how things play out now, y'all. We got a timeline there, that months card. So when y'all want to talk about her music, let's see. Y'all want to know the longevity in her music career. Is there longevity? That depends on who's asking because those girls have been, <laughs> been performing since they were very, very young. To me, that is success. That is longevity. Somebody says success is subjective. What success means to you does not mean success to the next person. I say they're hella successful with great longevity, if you ask me. Guarded, once again. Boundaries. You're going to have to stand strong if she wants longevity. Now, the Cups verse talks about somebody Swiss whispering sweet nothings in your ear. Telling you all things that sound good, but they don't have shit for you in reality. Mm, the emperor card, the person that leads you. It could be a male, but it also talks about that leadership in her life. So she's going to have to have leadership in her life. She's going to have to take control. Stagnation again. Blockages being stuck. Judgment. Good character. People that are around her. 
the moon reverse lies and secrets so she got a lot of this around her deceit lies and secrets things happening to her that she is unaware of behind her back four of cups says over it <laughs> four of cups says over it tired People, even when people try to offer her things, she's just going to be closed off. Look at her arms, her body language, her legs. They are all closed off. Four, phone on the floor, not even looking at it. People trying to reach out to her. She can't even see it. She's over it. And, mm, I mean to pick out the bottom of this card, but death. Death reverse talks about resistance and unwilling to change. Which can result in hardships and, once again, stagnation. Okay, so um, y'all want to know, uh, regret, does she regret going solo early, too early? Does she regret at all becoming a solo act? What's this that fell? King of Wands. It talks about somebody being pretty confident in their actions. It's a fire sign too, the devil. Mm. She does. She thinks about it. If it was the right thing to do. Seven of Pentacles reverse always talks about a lot of contemplation in one's life. Over it again. The world. This is her before the world. Going to the next level. Being solo. Definitely was the plan. Hobby weird. All up in that shit with the devil. So it makes me wonder. Was it her ultimate decision to go solo? Or was she encouraged to do that by someone who truly did not have her best interest at heart, especially when you see that devil car. You got to be careful of the material world, the glitz and the glams and the things that, the things that you think you're going to get. Sometimes, like they say, that seven, that signing a devil, assigning the, a deal with the devil, but the devil, the car, like I taught in my Patreon class, the devil is very misunderstood. The core of the devil, the basis of this energy is in tension and your most hidden secret desires that you won't tell anyone this is your shadow 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 self so when you see a reverse you need to question your intention behind something ashe okay mm, we got this at the bottom of the car nine of pentacles reverse can talk about losing all the things that you have gained she needs to be very careful with her career and her moves moving forward especially if she wants to continue to elevate and gain that world energy that just came out for her Um, I don't remember if I asked guys. Okay, no, I didn't. Is there any competition? Y'all want to know the energy between her and Haley. Is there any secret competition that she has i think it's hallie any kind of secret co mm, competition that she has between her and her sister judgment the judgment card once again talks about character the devil mm, breaking away from something so these cards so this talks about planned some energy something that was planned the devil can't talk about obsessions competition unhealthy things that go highly weird again Definitely want to love and celebration. This is somebody that wants to be placed a step above, highly revealed and sought after and celebrated. So she definitely has that energy. But I think she does want to go her sister too. But I feel like there is some time. Someone tried to pit these two girls together, pit them against each other. The devil is talking about that. Page of Cups reverse definitely talks about immaturity, immature things, but also talks about childhood and a child. Her and her kid, her and her sister have been at an act together as a unit as children someone purposely in the in hollywood try to pit these two girls against each other creating a false energy sometime of a competition depression sun sadness absolutely i feel like it was someone outside of her that did create this energy if it is there that's that big ass red flag once again we see we have two children here two children here these are two girls and i feel like that they were there is sadness about them not being together there is sadness about that sabotage 
that's sabotaging evil eye energy. Show me some more details about that when it comes to her career. So we're sabotaging it. Someone did take action. The truth. Mm. Guilt, shame, regret. The magician, sometimes the magician is tricky. The magician is very manipulative when it wants to be. Ace of Swords, and there's some type of burden energy on her. But Nine of Swords, and the magician says, yeah. King of Pentacles trying to slow you up, slow your world. Close roads for you, close longevity, close money down. Um, that's what Pentacles is about, longevity and values and money. The things that you care about most in your life. Boundaries, you got to put a foot down to this person. Ace of Cups. So Ace of Cups talks about um, something new. Something new. Music will always be her love, but y'all don't get surprised if y'all see her step, stepping into other um, talents that she has. Mm -mm -mm. I think that's it, y'all. I think I got y'all questions. I think I got the questions that y'all asked me. We opened up with the ancestors. Let's close with the ancestors. We are going to wish her album success. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of behind the scenes bullshit. But we're going to wish her success. And wish, her, wish the best for her. And we hope that she wins. Her and her sister. Because they haven't put in a lot of work, y'all. Regardless if you like them, you know, or not. Or, or, or not. I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue twisted. You cannot deny they talent. Because they definitely got that shit. Sex. Mm, feeling sex. Now that's funny because a lot of people have been giving her a lot of grief about her stepping into her um sexual essence as a woman, not being afraid to show skin and you know demanding that you guys look at me as a grown ass woman now and not a girl anymore. Weeks, we got another timeline, more weeks, something else. Look out for her in the next weeks. We know it says may happen in a few days, next week or in a few weeks. That's her album. Spirits come through. Spirits around. Oh, come on. Let's stay on the desk, y'all. Spirits. Spirits around you now. Spiritual activity. She needs to be careful with the spiritual world. Come on. Secrets. I've been saying it's a lot of deceit around her. We keep getting that moon reverse. We keep getting that devil. Um, I think we also... Um, no, we didn't get the tower. And this is that confirmation. We got a confirmation call. Car in jail. Illegal activities. Arrested police. Fraud. Fraud, a scam artist, a con artist. She needs to be careful. Danger. Watch out. Be careful. I just said, come on. I just said she needs to be careful. And this is exactly what that card says. Watch out. Be careful. Possible conflict. She could have a conflict, confliction in herself, a conflict with another person. And it's saying it is not safe. Right now, she needs to be careful. And it's from a third party. Others involved. I said it could be others involved from another person. Um, conflict, three-way threesome or communication. And we got competition. Come on now, spirit. Okay, gang, that it concludes the reading. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you have any more requests, please drop them down below. And I hope everyone stays well. I wish you love, health, and prosperity. Until next time, gang. Peace out.